Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Rajas of India. My work in Nandana seems to have come to fruition. So we have a claim now on our next door neighbor who we didn't have a claim on. Use it. It's going to cost us 200 gold, putting us negative. But it gives us an excuse to attack that guy, which is good. Our budget deficit's going to cause a slight problem. Ooh, uh, crushed to revolt, national revolt risk. Down. We should pick up a modifier that says that we have reduced money. The morale of your armies will suffer, and the longer this goes on, the more corruption and criminals will plague your counties. So it's it's a bad thing. You know, it's not good to do that. But I just... we got to take the claims when we can get them. We can take that province from him very easily. Righteous imprisonment of a... Uh, my kinswoman, of all people. Hmm. Well, she owns Shorkot. She's uh, just a kinswoman. Let's go ahead and throw her in prison. And then ransom. Or we could banish her. It's tyrannical, but we could get 240 gold for it. I think we just ransom her and let her hate us. Oh, okay. I remember reading in the patch notes that there's a new opinion modifier for being imprisoned, and I thought that it was different, but it is. It's a, like on top of being like I was imprisoned by you, there's now a modifier for being currently imprisoned, which is interesting. So we knew we need to uh, to continue fabricating claims on this other guy just so we can get enough land that we can actually usurp his duchy, and then we'll stop fabricating claims and worry about just improving relations with people. Meanwhile, you, sir, need to get caught doing something that I don't, you know, that isn't good. Hey, everyone wants to kill you. Excellent. Sounds like a plan. Kill that man. What did you do to piss everyone off? Oh, crap. Plot is revealed. Does that mean that everyone... Yep, everyone got minus ten. I am dishonorable. Boo. A quick granddaughter. Question him. Yeah, of course. Question that man. We've succeeded. He was murdered, and no one found out about it. So he would be blabber. Somebody blabbered about our plot. Everyone knows we're dishonorable, and then he dr dies of tragic circumstances. But no one can put two and two together. It's just not possible. That is pretty funny. He's murdered on the orders of me. Yeah. See, we know about it, but apparently no one else does. So now, um, that's good because this guy is beneath this guy, which owns this thing, which owns that thing, and so this this new one actually doesn't mind us that much. If it wasn't for the fact that we were a craven lunatic, and that he had claims on our titles, then we'd kind of be okay. We could kill this guy too. This guy actually kind of likes us. It'd be a little bit of a risk. This guy's 64 though, so he probably won't live much longer. And he's content, which makes him quite, quite good. Alright, we're just waiting until we have enough money, and then we're going to declare war on Shahi. The Shahi shot him. And that darn peasant revolt. They're huge. Absolutely huge. I'm really looking forward to the point where we have enough war elephants, so we can just kill everything with war elephants. Alright, so that is gone. Let's declare war. Claim Nandana. Raise up all the things. Rally them to, say here, except for those guys can stay stood down. Stood down? Standed. Standed? Stood. Stood. And we can crush him before he even has a chance to rally all of his men together. They're nice. Look at that. Automatically appointed commanders. I like it. We can call in allies, but we're not going to because we have a huge advantage here. And he will probably surrender without even having to be, having us actually have to siege anything. The reason I want to expand in this direction as well as taking over the rest of India is so that we can start raiding the Samanids. Crusade for Jerusalem, yet again. They've already failed once. How many troops do you have anyway? 10,000 roughly. And you have 3,600. You could probably do that. Let's go ahead and siege his two provinces rather than siege the war goal because we don't want to really destroy the loot bar in the war goal. This guy's going to become our vassal or you know we're going to get a vassal here we'll give the title away 
You have a grandson who's fantastic and an organizer, just like me, who needs a, a wife. He is a Kshatriya. Very nice. Looks like we have to go a little ways down the list to actually find somebody that fits him. Ooh, this one I like. Great. My kinswoman seeks to fabricate a claim on the Raj of Lahore. Well, it looks like you're going in prison again, kinswoman. And she's a kinslayer. Yeah, we can't abide by that. And she's raised her flag in rebellion. Oh, gosh. Alright, looks like we'll reposition this army. We'll siege his capital, and then we'll siege her. Or maybe we'll just go smash her army. But we can't abide by a kins kinslaying kinswoman. That's just dumb. That should also give us, like, righteous banishment. There, there should be a term, or, like, a, an ability in the game called righteous banishment. Like, if my kinswoman is caught murdering kin, kinswoman murdering kin, I should be able to banish her. And say that, you know, get, get the hell out of here, you're dumb. And we're dead, oh no! It's not really the best timing. But fortunately, the war will continue, and that means that that fabricated claim wasn't wasted. We are 12, and we are the wrong class, which means everyone should probably hate me. Ruler's wrong cast, ruler's wrong cast, ruler's wrong cast. The mayors don't mind, which is kind of strange. And apparently this count is a Vaishya. I guess that the castes just don't like each other. Oh, and hey, this is cool. It looks like our entire council got fired. And let me guess, we probably have people who are upset with us for having fired them. Because, you know, that makes sense. Right? Like, who was definitely... Nope, maybe not. Maybe no one did get the fired from council. Alright, so you can do that thing. You, my uncle, hate me. We'll go with this one. Well, he's landed, though. We gotta go with the one that likes us a little bit more. Can't risk it. Not a chance. My cousin, I guess, will be our spy master. And we'll go with the guy with 15 learning. And I remember we had a guy doing something before. We were um, we were trying to spread improved keeps. I guess we do want money, though, more than that. Training the capital. And rather than worry about fabricating claims, I think it's time to actually try to get some improved relations with some of our more powerful vassals. You will scheme in the capital just in case anything's trying to hurt us, and you will improve religious relations with, I guess, the lowest lowest opinion bishop we can find. Is that you? Dama of Pathakot. That's a, that's a bishop, right? No, that's a baron. Okay. Okay, Pujari, is that a priest? Probably, considering he's a Brahmin. Alright. So we gotta figure it out. Improve religious relations with that one. We're over our domain limit by two, but we're 12, so we could just probably hold out for a couple months. Sorry, a couple years. And get ourselves well-educated. I think we'll go with a diplom diplomat. I can't talk. A diplomat this time in an effort to try to offset our wrong cast penalty. So we'll go with that. Excellent. So my half-brother, who doesn't like us that much, totally join your war, of course. Why not? Fortunately, we'll gain some prestige right away by winning these wars. Except your war as well. I'm not going to call you into our wars because it's just not much. Lots of lots of wars. Little tiny ones that don't matter. She might be willing to surrender already. Actually, we could just offer white peace, but we could white peace her and then just imprison her again. But I think it's better to try to just win the war. Why do you hate me so much? My God. Ambitious, wrong cast, envious. Sweet. And here I am trying to grow the dynasty by finding you a wife. 
such a fool, aren't I? That one. I want that one. She's Kshatriya, that's the right one. Yeah, that's gonna be my wife, actually. Range betrothal. No! Must not marry someone from another caste. Well, let's just set her a special interest then. And then we gotta go back to my half-brother who needs a wife. This whole wrong cast thing, I swear. Take this one. Oh, we're at war? Of course. Of course it's gonna show people that we're at war with. Why wouldn't it? Alright, I give up. You don't get a wife. You don't like me well enough. And apparently I'm not all ambitious. My my guardian does not like me. My guardian, the mayor. That's disappointing. Because he's content, he, he to told me to not do that. So he just inherited this thing. The barony of Falia. Which was a subholding in here. We can't really afford to be that far over the domain limit, so I think we just have to give this away. Rather than give it away to a randomly generated courtier, though, I think we will search for men who are not in prison, not marry, uh, actually, any marriage, not a ruler. Yes, yes, yes. And no, sort by stewardship. And let's find a Vaishya that we can grant the land to that has good stewardship. So we get a little bit more money out of it. Oh, wait a minute. If I do that... We actually, technically, we need a, uh, it's a barony, so we should give it to a Kshatriya. So complicated, isn't it? I think if you give it to a Vaishya, that it can become a republic, and I don't really want that yet. At all, maybe. I'm not sure. We're losing one of these wars that we're not really helping with. This guy over here, I think he's just, he's got the, yeah, the one province. Good luck, sir. We're not actually going to help you. Still making okay money. We were making better money when people liked us more. Thirteen. Training grounds built in Lahore. Diplomatically refused. Nope. I will give away land when I'm feeling like it. Okay? Please don't let my kid turn into a terrible ruler. This um, this whole primogenitor, ultimogenitor thing is kind of strange. Hey, looks like your mom died. That's sad. My kinswoman. She died of poor health at the age of 28. No wonder she was so ambitious. Now we have uh, a one-year-old that's not even of our dynasty who controls it. Um, sure, we accept and we will ransom you for the money. She's going to continue to hate us, but it's not really our fault. We actually don't have an imprisoned penalty with her. I guess that's um, related to it being righteously imprisonment. Something like that. There's the surrender. Accept. Retreat back to our own territory. We can now create the kingdom of Punjab. This would make us a double king, which would actually also give us the right to try to subjugate this guy, which is one of the things that I was looking for. However, this is probably going to cost karma. Yeah, it costs 200 karma, which we don't have yet, and it also costs almost 400 gold. We probably will create it, just not yet. So let's stand that down. And we're definitely over the domain limit now, so... This is in the wrong or the other duchy, so we'll just give this to another character. Let's uh, let's go ahead and land our own dynasty, though, because, you know, there's no reason to play intelligently. <laughs> we should just totally make it a big, big mess. So here's me. Let's give it to my, uh, any brother that actually likes me. Negative 30. That's close enough. The ugly one. Here, sir. You can have the Thakana of Nandana. And apparent oh god, that's so dumb. I give him land and let me guess, now we fired him. Yeah, fired from council. Pretender and claim it to the Juti Kingdom. 
Now he hates me. Or is this a different guy? No, this is the guy that whose land I gave to. It's so weird that it fired my marshal. Why did it do that? Whatever. Even though he hates me, we're gonna put our lives in his hands and see what happens. We know about a couple plots. We have a count underneath one of our dukes that's plotting. Let's just righteously imprison him. They never did fix this. You just always, always imprison counts beneath dukes. Now, rather than ransom this one, I think we might... You know, 70 gold's always appealing, but we can release him and get 10 opinion from our, all of our vassals. Hey, that guy's not willing to stop backing his plot, so we can throw him in prison, too. Um, okay, I'm going to do this, then. We're going to take this guy's money. When this guy says no, we gain righteous imprisonment. Now we can imprison him. This is the one who has just a couple holdings. Um, We should probably send our marshal, but we won't. Hey, 38% of the chance. So 38% of the time it works every time. Now, if we release him, we can get 15 opinion with everybody, which kind of offsets half of our wrong cast problem. And then, of course, he's probably still going to cause problems, which will be good for us. We'll take the plus 15 from him. We could have gotten 145 gold from that guy, but... And apparently he's still backing that plot, so interestingly, we can apparently ask him to stop backing it again. He'll probably say no again. And now we have righteous imprisonment again. We caught him again. And now we're going to ransom him again. And he's finally not supporting the plot. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Well, so obviously he hates our guts now. And this guy hates us too. We got some people. We got some people that don't like us. If uh, all these guys think we're infidels, so be it. Is what it is. So you, sir, um, we can expect you to cause factions. We'll go faction, like you know, try to figure out what you're doing. And our own personal domain is just garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. My regent has very, very poor marshal. So. With this owner marshal skill, minus 35%. Instead of positive 35, now we have minus 35. It's a huge swing. So, you know, diplomacy could be good. Maybe we should stick with marshal. Let's stick with the marshal. It's just so powerful. Go with my cousin, because he actually likes us a little bit. Okay, all right, I'm going to take a break here. In the next video, we will hopefully make it to 16 with our life, in, our life intact. And then we will begin the conquest of something huge. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.